What's up, YouTube? I'm coming back with Rags Gameplay. Obviously, been playing a lot of Mutt, but with the challenges coming up in the Man Classic, you got to get ready for some Rags Gameplay. And here I'm bringing my Philadelphia Eagles on the field against the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is actually a game on Saloon. It wasn't streamed. That's why there's no camera, no overlay, no anything. I'm actually in New Orleans offense. You can get this ebook now at manturf.com. There's a link in the description. Also, please hit the sub, hit the like. If you enjoyed this video, I'll drop the next gameplay at 200 likes. And let me know if you think regs is something we should show more on YouTube. I know the Man Classic is right down the corner, so anybody that wants to compete needs to go ahead and start getting some regs all Madden games in. And I'll tell you, it plays a lot differently. Everybody's a lot faster. Things happen a lot faster. The block shed is better, and you know everything over the field. The corners are just, you got 95 speed players, and much, there's nothing even close to that. And it definitely has a difference. Here we go, Alshon Jeffrey frying Jalen Ramsey there on the comeback route. I mean, the Eagles, I mean, the wide receivers aren't that fast, but, dude, they catch everything. And that's what I love about them. As you see there, there's Alshon Jeffrey with a big catch. Mike Wallace holding on to a ball in traffic. He played good defense right there. We're able to go to another key player on the team, Zach Ertz. I mean, you talk about catching everything. He is an animal on Madden on Riggs. So I really like how the Eagles are playing. That, that time I get my run blown up there by Telvin Smith. Good user by this guy. Get here to, to third down. Try to throw the ball over here to Nelson Aguilar. Swatted away by uh, Miles Jack. And we go Alshon Jeffrey frying Ramsey, eating the hit stick, getting the end zone. That's just a slant route to, to uh, Alshon Jeffrey. One-on-one -on -one with Jalen Ramsey. Absolutely fried him. Scored me a big touchdown to start the drive. Here he goes. Pressure in his face. Over though in the best safety in the NFL. Malcolm Jenkins comes up with a huge play. Doesn't have, you know, the, the fleet of foot to go ahead and run the ball back. But a great pick on the first drive. First play of the game, I get a pick. That's a big deal. Here we go. Once again, we hit Alshon Jeffrey. Another great play by him. He's just coming up big for me. Here we go. Jay Ajay, who should be a first-round pick in fantasy this year. Going to have a huge year, Jay Ajay. And right here, I'm kind of I'm definitely boxed. And Calais Campbell finally got to me. I had plenty of time, especially for Regs all men. Go ahead, hit a draw underneath. I got to stop, so we're going to use a little bit of clock. Try to shorten the game up after you get a possession stop. And up, Calais Campbell got me that time. Th thought I had a little curl route I could have thrown in there, but took the sack. It's okay. Took it to the two-minute warning. Kicked my field goal. Go up two possessions. That's always good. And we'll see what he got. He do a pick his first play, so I feel fine on, on offense. Here we go. Good throw by him. He knew I was, I mean, I'm not going to give up the big play. I'm going to go ahead and let him hit it underneath to Shark, the, probably the best wide receiver in the game right now. I'm still learning about shark oh, questions. That's my Alexa. Try asking Tell me a shark fact to learn more shark about facts. them. She wants to know shark facts. Because shark is the best wide receiver. She wants to know shark facts. Here he goes. He gets over, though. He has Corey Grant in the slot. And then with TJ Yeldon. And this pissed me off. Third and ten. First of all, he should have dropped it. But then he catches the ball and gets extra yards. Just killer. Hits a wheel route there. Ronald Darby takes down uh, Sid Dante Moncrief. Sidney Moncrief. Jeez, I'm old. There we go. Should have been a pick right there. Sidney Jones. Drops the pick. So, man, I should have had a turnover. Here goes again. Third down, he just fires the ball into 16 people and catches it. I, uh, oh, he dropped it. Well, it should have been a pick again and him getting no points. And he's able to actually go ahead and get three, make it a one-possession game. Start the second half. I'm kicking up, kicking off. Up 10 points. Feeling good. I feel like he should turn the ball over every other pass. Right here, we can run him down with Gruber Hill. He's actually probably one of the best linebackers in race because he's so fast. Pretty much like a DB out there. Here goes again. I don't know what he's doing. Running away from Brandon Graham. Brandon Graham goes and gets it on Regs. Here we go again. Throws it in the middle of the field. The Corey Grant, the 50 overall running back, catches it in front of Rodney McLeod. I need a drop right there. Here he throws it up to Shark. I told you Shark is the best wide receiver in the game. You want to know Shark facts? Play with DJ Shark. He's a goon. This time Leonard Fournette gets perfect blocking into the end zone. Like... Just give me one turnover, man. I feel like he I feel like he wants to turn the ball over. I'm gonna get my turnover before the game's over. Here we go, Sproles. For some reason Madden has him at 83 speed. I mean, I don't know who makes the ratings of why he has 83 speed, but Sproles is the worst kicker turner to have. Telvin Smith fighting off a block there with Calais to make a good stop on the draw there. Go on the knee fair to Nelson Aguilar, get me a decent game. The strip button is crazy. I get afraid when you see back to back strip attempts. Look at JJ. I just get a couple yards, soften them up, get him. Don't get him sitting on the pass all game. Here I get lurked. DJ Hayden in a hard flat jumped and picked me off like that. That that made me uneasy when that happened. I, I was disappointed in myself, but I felt like I made the right read. DJ Hayden just jumped and picked it off. A little loop underneath and Shark holds on to it. Shark weak. 
They don't have verticals. He throws underneath him. Malcolm Jenkins swats at the air and lets him get a first down on third and seven. Unbelievable here. Right, here we go, TJ Yeldon. Good job right there by, uh, I think that's Brandon Graham or Michael Bennett making a play. Underneath, Ronald Darby drops a pick. I mean, that quick twitch he had right there, I'm not mad because he played that unreal. And that's something that would never happen in Mutt because the players are too slow. Third and 90 scrambles with Bortles. Just devastating right there. Able to stop the run with Jordan Hicks. Second and 13. I'm going to get my turn over here, boys. That was a nice little curl over here. So who else? Shark. Big hit stick by Malcolm Jenkins. Get him to get him to a third and short. What I do here, the clock is really running. And I'm. it's a tie game. 40-second play clock is huge. I mean, the clock is a big deal right now. If he gets this first down, it's obviously going to take it to the two-minute warning. I don't want. I want to give him the first down before the two-minute warning. That way I can save myself a timeout Come on, because I'm going to need a ball back. So what I try to do here is I try to go off sides. I made it too obvious. I should have just put it on aggressive and maybe, you know, fake height or jumped off sides. But I wanted to give him the first down so he couldn't run more clock. But he declined the penalty. So I said, okay, you know, right now defensively I have to be super aggressive because if I'm not super aggressive, he can easily milk this whole game and kick this field goal. So I really just want more time when I get the ball back, especially with the Eagles. So I'm going to go ahead. He motions over here, and I man this guy up. We're a little cross, man. Two people on that guy in motion. So I'll just blitz him, too. I got to guard the running back out of the backfield. That's the only person. So I shoot through the running back. Can't throw that, and he gets sacked. Huge play by him. Terrible play, actually. I mean, just to take a sack there, give me the ball back. It went to the two-minute warning. So I get the ball back down three. I feel good. I manage that, pos that, that possession pretty good. Here we go. Just thread the needle right here to Carson Wentz. The Mike Wallace. Boom. Get a couple extra yards, get out of bounds. Good job, tiptoe on the side. Plenty of time. Now, after a big play like that, and I have Jake Elliott, who has all the kick power, I can make him pretty much in field goal range. So I start playing very conservative here because, I mean, I don't want to give him the ball back. If Even if I tie the game, we can go to overtime because, like I said in earlier videos, man, if you're playing somebody like this guy should have turned the ball over 15 times. If you're playing somebody like that, you should go ahead and, and want the game to extend. Here go, just run a little inside zone. I feel like runs out of these tight formations are tough because there's so many blockers there for you to you know, block, get to the second level. So here you go, me. I'm, time is not an issue for me at all. I have an eternity. All three timeouts, over a minute. I'm pretty much in field goal range already with Jake Elliott. So I'm going to try to milk a little clock here. Hopefully, if these are my last two downs, I'm able to take it under you know 40 seconds left. But I play really passive here. I go ahead and, and hit this little quick hitter play. Zach Ertz is actually open, but I'm going to wait. Throw underneath the Aguilar. Fight a little bit for me. Boom. Get me down to 38. Now I'm definitely in field goal range. And he goes ahead and uses a timeout to save time for when he gets the ball. So, in this situation, 38, a sack would kill me. Knock me out of field goal range. So, I'm thinking to myself, you know, let me play safe. I feel like I can go ahead and uh, get this fairly easily. Probably gonna scream him. I'm just gonna go ahead and run uh, inside zone here, and he, I got a shut on Lane Johnson. The defense played good there. Real passive call by me. Something I, I wouldn't do, but afraid of getting a sack there. I'm cool with taking my field goal going to overtime or playing some defense. Like I said, I feel like he's due for that turnover. You know, I did that sack there. I could have lost the game on one play. Just extend the game, extend the game, extend the game, extend the game. When you're playing somebody you're better than or you're losing in the game, you need to extend the game. That's pretty much all it is. Here he goes. He's going, he actually called fair catch. That's smart. I would do the same thing. Try to, you know, preserve as much time as possible. You might need those three or four seconds down there on the, uh, on your money drive to, to get a field goal. So here we go. We got tie game. Obviously, I'm going to uh, deep, deep quarter, deep half the right players that I want to because I don't want to give up a big play here. He can throw underneath, that's fine. The time is on my side now. I'm going to go ahead and lurk this deep route, give him the underneath, and we got enough zones over there to where there's nothing for him to throw to. So he just wasted six seconds. Next play, he goes to bunch, tries to throw his little corner route, and Ronald Darby finally, finally made a play. Once again, earlier, that quick twitch, he dropped one. That one, he came and made a big play. And here he goes, first play, cover three press, go up top to Aguilar, get stripped from behind, which has all happened to us this year. It's just outrageous how you get stripped from behind. But he's able to recover it, take the lead right there. So we score 10 points in a matter of three plays. Or no, four plays because he had two on offense. We got a field goal, an incompletion, a pick, and a touchdown. Here he goes for a cover three beater right out the bait. I'm not going to give that up. Deep half every side. So he's pretty much in trouble now. One timeout left. Nigel Bradham, go get the quarterback. Boom. Use your timeout. The game's over. 13 seconds, no timeouts. 
Nigel nice Bray will get him again. Zip the game up. Huge job right there by, by Ronald Darby. Finally coming up with a pick. And like I said, extend the game, extend the game, extend the game. Especially when you're playing somebody that should have done 15 picks by now. And, and to be able to go ahead and, and get that win. Get, just give him a chance to keep making mistakes. Because I feel like I'm not going to. So that was a good game. Just a little way I kind of managed the clock at the end there. And how he was, made a couple bad plays. But we will see the he played cover three press and Nelson Aguilar just torched my man AJ Bouye just down the sideline. Beat the press, a little bit more speed. He got the right angle, as you can see, he beat the press from the jump, and, and that's pretty much what did it. Obviously, I would have had to drag after a while to hit, but you know, I took a chance. You know, you're gonna give me a big play like that, boom, end the game. Like I said, hit the like, hit the sub, comment on you know how we manage this game. Who's your favorite team on regs to use? Let me know that, and we'll put some more videos up for y'all soon. Nerd!